Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. We're going to be talking shit, some girl shit right now. So apparently Devin of 90 Day Fiance and just ridiculous internet behavior fame um, has teamed up or had teamed up with Janelle Evans and a shit ton of other like influencers and other reality TV stars, like 20 other people or something like that to create a podcast. And it was going to be called Girl Shit. And when they were going to talk about who knows what, and everything kind of didn't happen. <laughs> and I got a lot of messages asking me to cover this. So I was like, ugh, I hate Devin. But this is kind of funny. And let's just take a look and I'll see what I could see and find out what we can find out about it. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so at the time of this recording, it is April 2nd. So we are two days into April. Um, already we had the James Charles video. Um, now we have this. It's looking like it's going to be a pretty busy month as far as things to talk about, which I guess is good. It keeps us busy. Um, on March 30th, so what was that? Tuesday? <laughs> Tuesday? Today's Friday? So on Tuesday, In Touch put out an article really hyping up this girl shit podcast with Janelle and Devin and they teamed up and this is new, funky, fresh and woohoo. And so this is what, and I'll link it in the description of this video. This is what the In Touch article had to say about what this project was because a lot of us were like, let, let, let's girl shit. <laughs> um, so Jan it says Janelle is a co-producer of the Girl Shit podcast, which launches on April 1st, which it didn't. Um, Janelle is quoted as saying, I teamed up with this group of people and it's going to be a whole group of girls and major influencers from all platforms, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, really diverse, she adds. We are going to talk about unfiltered topics and share our opinions on things. Basically anything like women empowerment, parenting, relationships, marriages. I mean, really anything that we can come up with and we're going to collaborate together and come up with everyone's topics and ideas. Right off the bat, this is just has no organization. Um, the article goes on to say, as for Devin, she made her reality TV debut on season one of TLC's 90 Day Fiance the other way. Um... The 24-year-old exclusively reveals she and Danielle became friends by bonding over their shared experiences of being on reality TV. This is key because all of this all of this drama that has now unfolded, Devin has been kind of been playing dumb, which really isn't that hard for Devin, but like she didn't know that Janelle was an extremely controversial figure and that she had been fired from Teen Mom that her husband is incredibly problematic, that there was a dog murder that occurred. Um, apparently, Devin doesn't Google. Um, so, I, but again, I call bullshit on that. Devin is quoted in the article that Janelle actually reached out to me roughly two years ago when I first was on 90 Day Fiance just to be kind and to be a friend. She knows how tough the reality world can be and just prepared me for it in the sense of what to expect when it comes to reality TV. So they had to have talked about things. Um, Devin tells in touch, we kept in touch here and there throughout the years. And she messaged me about the project and I was like, it sounds like so much fun. I think it's a wonderful idea. So they've been friendly four years and now um the drama is is that around the 31st I believe was when they had this launch party and Devin suddenly was complaining about Janelle and quote got her fired and that then Janelle was uninvited from the launch party but then came anyways and now there's been back and forth on social media Devin really speaking through her mouthpiece, John Yates. So for Janelle's part, she says that she's not fired, that she's a producer, and she had this to say on her Instagram stories, so take a look. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing great. 
Um, so there's a lot of rumors I woke up to saying that Devin got me fired from um, this thing when I'm her producer and um, I actually hand chose Devin to join us. So um, with that being said, I am not fired and um, we don't know what's going to be happening with the podcast right now. Again, according to Devin's BFF, John Yates, Janelle was fired from the project and Devin even commented on an IG post that he made. Um, Devin says, dude, I don't even know what the heck is going on. And then she goes on to say, I want it to be made clear. I do not support that kind of behavior. And when I read and did my research, I was in tears. I do not support any type of child abuse allegations or not. I will not and cannot support that. I want to apologize for being an idiot. Well, at least she acknowledges it. I want to apologize for being an idiot and not doing my research, but I can assure you I will not work with her. I saw the videos and I'm truly sad and disgusted and do not support what they've done in the past. And I, honest to God, don't know anything about teen mom girls drama. I don't keep up, but I am saddened and disheartened by it, but it is being handled. Well, from the In Touch article, it seems like Janelle was more involved in the creative process and the selection of who was going to be a part of this project. So who knows what's really going on. Um, as far as my thoughts on, um, on Devin and Janelle, I, I think Devin is lying as usual because how could you have not known um about Janelle you were friendly with her for years I'm sure you guys commiserated about shared experiences on reality tv about kind of being vilified on both of those seasons um respectively so I just don't buy it that she didn't know also that's really not an excuse because she could have googled her ahead of time just because she was facing backlash for teaming up with someone so controversial. Now she's crying stupidity. And I just don't think that that is a fair excuse to make. Also, Devin's not without controversy herself. She's making, at this point, baseless accu accusations against Jihoon that are still playing out. Um, there's a divorce proceeding in process. Um, not sure what the allegations are are going to when they're going to become out and be verified and solidified and we can all say sorry Devin we were wrong that hasn't happened yet and like I've said for a while I don't think that's ever gonna happen I think that the documentary that Devin is involved in um with her boyfriend and his like digital fashion magazine is gonna go <laughs> a similar way uh, that this podcast did. The podcast itself, the format just seemed really chaotic to have upwards of 20 people collaborate. I'm, I'm assuming they wouldn't have all been on, um, on m the mic at the same time because that would just be really chaotic. But it didn't seem to have like a solid format. Usually when people tune into podcasts, it's for a single issue, like they're following a show or they're following true crime or they're following a person so to have it be like today we're going to talk about parenting and tomorrow we might talk about marriage and the next day we might talk about shopping um it's kind of like then you're not hitting a niche market and so I don't know what kind of advice that they got for that um but it just kind of seemed I think the biggest problem was just how many people were involved in the project because maybe you're really going to like listening to one person and then they might not be on for several more weeks if they have to funnel through 20 people. And maybe you don't like listening to someone and then, you know, you're like, oh, well, like, I'll just catch whoever on Instagram then because like, I, I, you know, I don't want to have to listen to like 800 people just to listen to the one person I like, you know? I do find it interesting that it seems like the majority of the people, I haven't seen anyone come out in defense of Janelle, which she was the one who kind of put this all in place according to her and according to this In Touch article. So are all these other people just Team Devin or are they just going to stay quiet? It remains to be seen. The 
uh, girl shit um, Instagram had a couple of posts and there's no posts anymore. There's just one. Uh, there was an Instagram story with them at the launch party. I'll put that up here. Sans Janelle. Um, I did notice that the girl shit Instagram page does not follow Janelle anymore. So that's interesting as well. So we'll see what happens. Um, let me know what you guys think. Were you excited for a podcast from Devin or Janelle? Or um, I'm not too familiar with Janelle because I haven't really followed Teen Mom, but I've been told that I have to get into it and that Teen Mom 2 is so much messier than Teen Mom OG, which I did used to watch. But then after they fired Farah, I was like, there is literally no drama on this show anymore. So, um, and I just thought it was kind of crappy. They fought, they fired Fair for being a sex worker. And I just thought that that was kind of crappy because I don't think anybody watches Teen Mom for their like moral superiority. So anyways, that's a tangent. Let me know what you guys think. Um, did you catch uh, John Yates live? I think he went live with Tracy from Teen Mom Trash Talk. I think she does 90 Day Trash Talk as well. I th she had some really interesting points, I thought, on the podcast because she does a podcast herself on kind of the structure and how it made really little sense. Um, Devin seems to be only speaking through John Yates and not making any kind of statements herself. So I find that interesting. Janelle is maintaining at this point that she is not fired, that she's a producer. Um, but the podcast was supposed to launch. So I would have, I would have assumed they would have had something recorded already, but maybe not. So we'll see what happens and what goes from there. I think people probably mostly we're going to be listening to it to see if it was as awful as it sounded. Um, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you think. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, much love, bye-bye.